As inflation continues to rock people globally, essentials like groceries cost more than three times as much as they did just a few years ago. I feel like I'm going to be sick. And our politicians are arguing about their golf handicap. I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? As we always say, Bitcoin represents us all. And there is no second best. People all over the world are waking up to the reality of Bitcoin becoming one of the most important things to humanity right now. Will you put your trust in politicians or Bitcoin to represent you in 2024? Welcome to Bitcoin Daily. I'm Dante Cook, head of Swan Business. If you're anything like me, your eyes were glued to the TV as you were watching the Olympic track and field trials last week. You thought I was going to say debates, didn't you? No, but seriously, it was amazing seeing people like Simone Biles make their comeback in dominating fashion. Or Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni beating the world record in dominating her competition in the U.S. nonetheless by more than 20 meters as she broke a world record at 50.65 seconds in just the trials. It's a world record in the last event of the trials! Watching something or someone so dominant reminds me that the world naturally converges on one money, the best money, and it dominates all other forms of money. And in Michael Saylor's words, there is no second best. Or in this case, Dave Portnoy's words, there is no other crypto that you should be in other than Bitcoin. Will Steve Will Do It's crypto hero be another rug? I, I didn't know he had that. I The only crypto anybody should be involved in is spelled B-I-T-C-O-I-N. I've learned that the hard way. If you want to try to make quick bucks, do not cry to me if you get rug pulled in any crypto like I did with Safe Moon. You have to know you're probably getting rug pulled going in. It's all a Ponzi scheme, only Bitcoin. I don't know if it's the amount of comments that he gets after he posts these videos or if he's truly learning, like we all do out loud, that the other crypto projects aren't worth it. And at the end of the day, we're all liable to get rug pulled. Bitcoin is the only true decentralized project that you should be investing your time, energy, and money into. Because it's the only one that we can trust. Because Bitcoin represents you. It represents everyone. And if you're someone like me who lives in America, some would say that it represents you better than these two. And like Bitcoin, the Olympics is global and represented by proof of work. When a person's name is called or cemented with a gold, silver, or bronze medal, or even just competing in the Olympics, it's a ledger that can't be erased and it cannot be taken away from us. And that's why we love the Olympics, because although there's only a few athletes representing an entire country in a specific event, there's someone who represents us, that represents the ideals that we believe in, the places where we've come from, and it also represents hope for the future, future that we can continue to create things that are better, continue to push the boundaries. Remember when the four minute mile was broken? And now we have athletes doing it in three and a half minutes. That's sort of how we feel about the future and why people are so hopeful with Bitcoin. Whether you're a Canadian restaurant like Tahini's, who's outpaced the restaurant rat race by putting their business treasury in Bitcoin, or whether you're a lower level English football club like Real Bedford FC, owned by the one and only Peter McCormick of the What Bitcoin Did podcast. They just signed a 500K sponsorship package from Gemini that was paid in Bitcoin. And Bitcoin has helped to grow their program by leaps and bounds in ways that they couldn't have done in the fiat system. Or you're a small publicly traded Japanese company like MetaPlanet that just added 20 more Bitcoin to your balance sheet or 200 million yens worth of Bitcoin because you realize that storing the value of your company in yen isn't going to represent you. It isn't going to protect you. Whether you're Canadian, whether you're Japanese, or whether you're English, people need something to represent them and to protect them. Protect them like this guy here, who, when realizing he could reorder the same order that he had done from his Walmart shopping cart from a few years ago, understood the impacts of inflation. I feel like I'm going to be sick. I just, like, looked through my Walmart history, and I found this, like, 
um, Walmart order from two years ago for the whole month worth of groceries. 45 items cost $126. A whole month of groceries just for me, basically. But I did notice this reorder all button, and I wanted to see how much it would cost now. Now? This order of 45 items for one month would have cost $414. That is four times more. How the f***? How? Like, what? And they say food inflation is up just over 20% over the last several years. Anyone who's actually buying groceries or living in the real world knows that that's not true. Some people are surprised when... Someone like Michael Dell puts out a tweet or a poll asking, what's the most important thing? And the number one response is Bitcoin. And the fact that love and relationships is less than Bitcoin might be a signal as to why we have such low fertility rates. But that's for another episode. People tend to feel this sort of way every few years because the fiat currency system has created this cycle of booms and busts, of feeling okay to all out panic and anxiety. And if they say that history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes, it's looking like things aren't going so well in the US banking sector, as there's over $525 billion in unrealized losses, which is seven times more than the great financial crisis. So it's not just the everyday consumer that's starting to feel worried, it's the banking sector too. But not everybody got crushed in the great financial crisis. People who were able to simply buy and hold Bitcoin did pretty well for themselves. And with today being July 1st, it's looking like a pretty good day for you to stack sats. Because if history doesn't repeat but it rhymes, well, the rhyming sounds pretty good. Because Bitcoin's price the last three years on July 1st were as follows. In 2022, it was $23,464. In 2023, it was $30,535. In 2024, it's $63,162 per coin. What will it be next year? For all of us who are stacking sats and continuing to sacrifice worthless fiat for priceless Bitcoin, well, there's also another group of people who will benefit from the next cycle. And that's the person who wins a free Bitcoin by signing up for our free sweepstakes and our Tucker Carlson promotion at swan.com slash win a Bitcoin, where we're giving away a free Bitcoin to someone who simply downloads the Swan app, creates an account, adds a banking method to their account. That's all you need to do for a chance to win a free Bitcoin. One final and one closing thought. As we move closer and closer to the upcoming election, in the United States at least, think about who you want to represent you. Think about what will represent you that you will be proud of. Think about the proof of work that's been put into Bitcoin, similarly to an Olympic athlete, that is going to make you proud in a few months or a few years when you look at how it protected you from inflation. There's a lot of similarities to the Olympics and Bitcoin because it's for all of us. And I believe that Bitcoin is an asset that will represent us well, not only in a few months, but years moving forward. And with that, we're signing off for today. This is Dante Cook with Swan.com. Happy stacking. Oh.